Ah, yeah. I don't know why we can save here. Mini game. This game loves mini games. I can't. So yeah. You just steer the boat by moving your mouse left or right. As far as I know that's got all you can do. And you wanna avoid the exploding crates and you wanna pick up the uh, non-exploding ones. Although I suck at this. Uh, healing crates also. Just what I needed. If your boat completely explodes, then obviously you lose. Uh, in the original game, I think, uh, from what I remember, the first time I played it, I played it without unofficial patches or anything. Uh, it just takes you back to the beginning, where the time miner was, where you had to save, and you have to start all over again, and you can't progress until have completed the mini game, um, but obviously, oh, I've got three Cordican diamond discs for that. Awesome. Obviously, they realized later that maybe that wasn't the best idea to do a, a progress for a game like this. And uh, there's now in the unofficial patch, there's the option if you fail a mini game once, you can um, you get a dialogue screen to skip it and it just takes you to the, the cutscene after it uh, which is a relief because this isn't the worst mini game but there are others and it, and it just sucks that something so different from the rest of the gameplay can uh, screw your prog progress in the story because uh, obviously people who play uh, t turn based RPGs don't are not necessarily people who are great at twitch mechanics like me <laughs> I'm not the best at that. so it, it does like that the game uh, would punish you for not being good at that sort of thing and and with no way out so that was a good fix by the unofficial patch at least. In battles against multiple enemies, it can be really nerve-wracking to just slowly see your uh, turn regenerate. You can't do anything while you're being hit. I think that's the biggest problem I have with turn-based combat. It's not being able to react to what's going on. That's, that's a recent problem actually because all the games I used to play like Fallout 1, uh, Fallout 2, this game, they're all turn based so obviously I didn't really have a problem with it then but once you're used to being able to react as things happen you sort of get frustrated sometimes with turn based combat. Oh two of them, awesome. Let's take them out one at a time. Oh. 
getting so dizzy. <laughs> oh, that did it. I haven't used this one yet. Manages to evade. Grumpus needs some healing, I think. Yeah. We've got plenty of them anyway. Still haven't found what we're looking for in these tunnels, really. There's a whole bunch of enemies. Oh no. Let's take out this big one first. Because I hate them. Also, they make me dizzy. Like in real life, not just my characters. down already. Grumpo's deal with the other bears. And uh, Oops is going to take out the little ones in the back. That was a weird glitch. Everything suddenly disappeared.
the ones. And so far no one's poisoned yet, so I hope we can take them out before that happens. on the head. This bear glitches out my game. Get rid of it. Oh, really? Oh, this is taking ages. Heal these boots. Awesome. I'll kill it. Finally. That took long enough. boss fight I think there's a boss fight at the end of every major uh, quest in this game Don't miss.
Oh. I think these um, these things we keep finding is Rebulon. What does it say? Google gems. They're just uh, things you can sell. None of these are actually worth, or none of those are special items. They're just stuff to sell. Ooh. Thing that it's so bright. Though I probably would have checked the side passage anyway. Right, kill those first if possible. Oh. Right. Why can't he hit? Oh, he's too far away. Hopefully it sets them on fire and they take a little bit of extra damage throughout the battle. I think for this fight, the uh, Brumpos is mostly going to be support. Ah! It's that status effect that makes them miss a lot. Which is why I hate them.
Oh. Ah, he's in boots as way. Shouldn't have moved in there. Oh, I can move him again. Do it to myself, apparently. Much better. He did. Finally. It's been long enough. Got a two heal breach plus, so that's good. Because they both needed one, so I didn't um, gain anything. The heal is complete as well. Alright. Continuing with our exploration. Look at that a time minded. Oh look at it. <laughs> now, boss battles, eh? If everything goes well, we won't really need any healing. All of the boss battles in this game are puzzle bosses. Where if you know what you're doing, you should take a minimal amount of damage. Does that it heals itself a bit? And the round after, after it's healed itself and hit itself on the thing, it will. Yeah. Do that. point you want to see where it moves because you want to basically move away from the platform that he turns to
Because that wouldn't be good if Boots was still there. Very interesting now. Thankfully, we do more damage to him than he can heal. If he didn't get our upgraded weapons, it would, would have been a bit harder. That's why I was holding off on the turn, just to see what he was going to do. I didn't want to uh, attack it and then lose my turn and not be able to move on time. That's pretty much the only thing you need to take into account in this fight, as far as I know. As long as you hop away from your platform on time, you should really never take any damage. dead now I think There we go. That wasn't too hard. Just not making a mistake. Not losing your turn when you need it. Some pretty good loot. that was the thing that kept ripping people's limbs off as they were investigating this area uh, but we managed to get through there looks lootable
What the hell is that? Man, what a washout. I busted my knuckles for this. It looks like it's made from Mysterium. The same material Mystek is made from. We've got to get this back to my lab immediately. <laughs> Luck, boys. Losers. Guess who it is. Well, well, well. If it ain't my favorite butter and egg man. Hey, Detta. Here you're moving up in the world. Your charm on legs, Crash. Too bad your mouth's smarter than the rest of you. <laughs> now your stomach's smart, too. Thanks for the education. I haven't seen you all year, Sylvester. Nice coat. Remind me why I'm keeping you alive. Kill me and you'll never see the money. You're dead. <laughs> oh no, that's pocket change compared to my numbers now. Try again. Uh, I'm drawing a blank here. Nostalgia. You bring to mind my humble beginnings. One must stay grounded despite one's success. And you, give me the stone. Stone? What stone? Come on, Grumps, give it to him. You don't know who you're dealing with. I know a two-bit thug in a fancy suit when I see one. <laughs> He'll have to kill me for it. Oh! Thanks much, Sylvester. Whatever this is will look swank in my collection. Poot, schedule a dinner with Mr. Boots for the end of the week. Some place nice. Not Brebulin. I hate Brebulin. <laughs> I may be a sentimental old fool, Sly, but if the money isn't mine by dessert, we'll break out the saws. <laughs> Bottle up and go, boys. Sunny Funnies, Friday at Dusk Hour, don't forget. Honestly, Detective. Moron, I'm gonna kill you! That stone was in my hands, and you rolled over for those Goombas without a thought. Look, old man, you hired me to keep you safe. Those guys were gonna dust you. Rubbish. We could have taken those ruffians on easy. You cost me a stone. Stone's bones. It's time to settle up, Cupcake. <laughs> what? After that? Forget it! Hey, you hired me to keep you safe. You didn't mention anything about that stone, so cough up the birds. Ah, uh, piss. Yeah, very funny. Where's the rest? What rest? That's your fee. A hundred bucks? This won't even pay my bar tab. Well, then maybe next time you'll pay more attention to your fee up front. <laughs> I'm not a rich man, Mr. Boots. Take it with a smile or walk. Fine, fine, I'll take it. Wait a minute. You're going? Of course I'm going. This case is closed. Do you have any idea how much money you're walking away from? There's energy dormant in every slag of Mystek. If we figure out a way to activate it, we'll never have to worry about money again. What do you need me for? Weren't you mad at me a second ago? Well, I don't need you in particular. But you've got a flair for fighting, and everyone else I know is dead. What you need is a change of venue. When we come back, you'll have enough money to pay off your debt and start a new life. I'm listening. Planet Sunder. There's a brilliant scientist there who's thinking along the same lines I am. If I knock heads with her, we might just pull this off and make a bundle. Okay, I'll take the case. As long as the egghead doesn't get a cut. Sold. <laughs> and I want more than a hundred bucks. You'll get plenty more. And I'm in charge, you hear me? You're a danger to yourself. No, piffle. And stop hitting me with that thing, or I'm gonna belt you back. Ow! I mean it. <laughs> Alright. 
So, back from the Mystic Tunnels. Guess they didn't need the uh, Methodine Door Lord anymore now. He waltzed into my life and now he's gone. Yes. We'll all regret losing him. Both, yeah, the guy who was talking about the. We actually now kind of know what these are. They're not cute. Good afternoon, Mr. Madavastros. Hope this little critter ain't keeping you up at night. Yeah. 